Hey everyone, it's Host Promo. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily auto indent and auto format your coding files to make them look beautiful in the Atom editor. It's super easy. We're going to go into settings. I press Control Comma to do that. However, you can access it in the menu. And we're going to go ahead and click Install in the sidebar. And we're going to go ahead and search for the Atom Beautify package. And it's going to pop up first and it has about 9 million installs. We're going to go ahead and install it. It only takes a few moments. All right, the package is installed and it is ready to go right out of the box. I'm going to show you how to use it without any customization and then I will show you how to customize it. So for example, we have this file. I'm going to do control A and I'm going to do shift tab so we can have the file look exactly like this. Nothing is indented. And then now there's two ways to auto indent and beautify everything. The first way is to use the command palette. And in Linux, I press control shift P and we can go ahead and type in beautify. And you can see right here, we have the command right here. There's a shortcut for it and it's control alt B. Okay, so we can go ahead and click that and you can see it auto indents everything. Now, another way to do this is we can simply right click and then there should be an option that says beautify editor contents and boom there we go however you may not like the exact way it's indenting you may want to use spaces you may want to use tabs you may want to use two spaces four spaces eight spaces so i will go ahead and show you how to do that so we're going to go back into the plugin settings and we're going to go right here and now they have this huge file and you can edit the settings for each language right in the plugin settings so you can do it that way however the way I prefer to do it I will go ahead and show you this this way if you're working with someone you can also have them install this plugin and they'll be at the same page so if we go down here keep going keep going keep going we are going to see where is it? Oh, and one more thing, it will say the keyboard shortcut in this uh, basically wiki file, okay? It says Control Alt B. So you don't have to open up the command palette. Uh, however, you can also just right click like I showed you. Here are the configuration files. So you need to set up a file in the root index of your project called .js beauty, beautify rc. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and copy this. We're gonna come over here, click new file. Boom, whoops, no period at the end. There we go, okay. Now we're gonna come back here and they have two different examples. They have a simple example and they have a nested example. The nested is the recommended example. And the difference between them is the simple example is for all different file types, whether it's a CSS file, HTML file, PHP file, JavaScript file, etc. And the nested, the recommended, is for all these different file types. So you can set different settings for each different file type, which is pretty cool. On normally, I would use the nested, uh, which is the recommended. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to use the simple configuration file just to keep it simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna zoom in just so you guys can see what we're working with. Now, for example, if we change this two to eight, we come back to our file, let me zoom out a little, and we beautify it. We'll go right click and click beautify editor contents. You can see it's now using eight spaces, okay? However, if we come back here and do two again, and run this again, here we go. However, you may not want to use spaces. You may want to indent with tabs. So we just have to switch this to true. And now if we come back again, we beautify the content again, it's now been switched to tabs, okay? So you can have it tabs, spaces, you can set the indent size, the indent character, and all this different stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will like this plugin. It's, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite plugins. 
because especially when you start copying and pasting snippets, for example, off the Bootstrap website, everything starts getting all messed up and you got tabs and you got spaces, et cetera, et cetera. This plugin can handle and fix all of that for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out my website, host.promo, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day.